When you're trying to reach any type of goal, looking at some type of data to see your progress is going to help with accountability and keeping you motivated and obviously assessing how you're doing. As we all know, weight is not the best way to indicate progress. I mean, it can be in certain situations, but it's not the only way and it certainly shouldn't be the only tool that you use to track progress. So I know it can take time to track progress in another way, but it's really, really important. Accountability is huge. You know, you have to find ways that keep you accountable, that keep you motivated and taking your measurements or photos or whatever other method that you use to keep track of your data, that's going to help show you your progress. We might not always see movement on the scale with regards to weight, and that could be for a number of different factors, or we might see our weight go up a couple pounds and that might cause us to freak out, but our body fluctuates, you know, three to five pounds every day for a number of different reasons. So this could be fluid fluctuations, um, our hormones can cause us, so whether it's, you know, that time of the month or just we're on a different hormonal cycle it could cause us to gain or lose a few pounds and that pounds those sorry those pounds would not be fat that would be fluid fluctuation so depending on how your body is retaining fluid at the time so it's really important to not get hyper focused on the scale the scale is definitely it can be a useful measurement but again, it's not the only measurement that should be used, but we should be tra keeping track of some other type of data to help show us our progress. So you might not see the progress that you want to see some weeks. Not everybody does. Even, you know, people like me who work out a lot, I eat healthy for the most part, majority of the time, I only track my progress. So I probably weigh myself once every two weeks. Um, I usually don't see any movement on the scale, even when I was losing like the fat that I had gained last year after my or after after my injury. And when I was losing that fat, because I wasn't really losing weight, I was gaining muscle and losing fat. I was losing inches and I was lowering my body fat, but I wasn't really seeing much movement on the scale. So again, it always depends on your goals and your, um, your personal situation, but having some type of data to track, and uh, another one is, um, you know, not, the non-scale victories. So things like how your clothes fit, how you're feeling, are you less bloated, do you have higher energy levels? It's really important to keep track of those things because guys, we're not going to be perfect all the time. Trust me. My husband brought home ice cream the other night from Dairy Queen. He just showed up with Dairy Queen and I was like, you know what? I ate it. Those things are going to happen. I just really, really want you guys to try to get motivated to keep tracking your data and to keep celebrating your successes.